So Scott wanted me to bring this up. And I don't ever want to talk about something to be over it, but he wants me to put this out there. Oh my God, I forgot already. Oh, when I'm listening to your music and listening to you talk, I'm hearing multiple words at the same time and they're kind of like slurred. It's almost like picking, doing a word puzzle or something trying to figure out what word is that garbled sound that you're hearing and you can put, put a whole story together. And that's how people create alternate realities. They're hearing spiritual stuff and they really think what they're hearing is real. It really is part of their fucking imagination. It's some shit they made up. And the only way to know whether what you're seeing in the spiritual world and what you're seeing in the real world is real is if you can see some anchors within the real world of that person in the spiritual world. Like their damn name, their family, how they dance. They have to have some kind of energy signature that's in their body. That means people can see it when they're doing it, when they're living and walking. And an energy signature that could be seen in the spirit realm. And that's how you can tell if a motherfucker's real. Because these people, some of these people are being controlled. So you don't see them. And that's why it could be, that's what they call the Matrix. Whatever that man in the Matrix, H.S. Smith, that's what he is. He, everybody that ain't in the spirits around. But we don't know them. Even if you never met somebody before, sometimes you feel like, oh, I feel like I know that person. You know? But you never met them, but maybe you have an alternate reality or even just another lifetime shit you might have a secret code on how to get people out your mind because people like to fuck with you people like to play mind games with your ass if they can find any kind of weakness that where you not confident in whatever you're thinking or whatever messages you're getting they can exploit that and make a whole fucking side storyline and it be your fucking story and they be trying to explain how you feel how you was the uh, you know, depressed and all this shit. And it don't even be that. <laughs> it be you just recognize real shit and you're just like, I don't want to do anything with you fake motherfuckers. I'm not depressed. I just don't want to be around you motherfuckers. Because your bitches is volatile. You're liable to snap at any moment. I don't know what the fuck to expect from you motherfuckers and you make me nervous. And this isn't to nobody personally because I don't want to get nobody going because when I'm in their body, they're saying my name consciously and subconsciously. So sometimes they know it and sometimes they don't. And then when I play my videos back, I realize that I can hear them in my voice when I'm speaking. So I'm like, oh, that's, that's confirmation that they actually were in my body in that time. And I was in their fucking body. That's why we know each other. And that's why they can operate me so well because I trust them. And there's a lot of people out here like Masons and Rosicrucians and different people in secret society trying to control people. And those people do not want to be controlled because the person controlling them don't give a fuck. Like how the government don't give a fuck if fucking $200 worth of food stamps are going to feed your ass for the fucking month. They don't give a fuck, but they do it anyways. And they're just getting paid and really it's not going to kill them to do the right thing that they're just doing it anyways. It's like they're not on the spiritual realm. They're like doing a job. They're like somebody in them, whatever spirits in them don't give a fuck about humanity. And people can't get that because these people are controlling the financial um, system. They're controlling the economics. Everybody's in a fucking economic slavery and they don't get it. Because these people are, in, I ain't gonna say people, I don't know what the fuck it is. It could be a fucking worn, worn another planet of species of motherfuckers that don't like us. That's in, in these people. We don't let them take over they take over the law and now we're all fucked up and really we could just kick their fucking asses like the constitution says these motherfuckers are some fake ass artificial politicians none of them are voted in properly the government is in bankruptcy and when the government is in bankruptcy they can't have a fucking legal side of anything how they gonna pay to keep the shit open so everything's ran off of us and these motherfuckers is treating us like some fucking foster kids or some, some fucking kids that nobody want they just want them for the money like they get a check for you every month and they only give you the bare minimum and they take the rest to go get the hair and nails done and then they start flossing the shit in your face. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. Why would you do that when you know somebody gonna fuck you up sooner or later? And if you don't think somebody gonna fuck you up, you ain't never run into the rebel. 
nobody's about to deal with that kind of fuckery and we've been going through a lot and a lot of it has to do with people being controlled and not realizing what's spiritual and what's like you know spiritual in a good and spiritual in a bad way and then you can have it where it's spiritual where people are trying to run um spells on your ass you know so they're gonna make situations happen in your life that are gonna be bad and they're gonna know what the triggers are to make you do this stuff because of certain society norms that everybody does and if you don't do it it's automatically you're going to be talked to like shit and it's going to trigger something in you to make you want to beat the shit out of everybody else because they're fucking dumb the united states government is around the world killing people all over the planet right now like it ain't shit and people are still talking about what the fuck they don't need to be talking about i'm gonna leave it at that because i don't like to get people upset because there's certain um groups of people that i deal with and they like me because I'm open. If, if whatever you're doing doesn't affect me personally, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Like, I'm, I don't judge people on their personal preferences unless it's, it's going to harm somebody. And if the, it's harming themselves to where somebody else going to have to take care of you. Because ain't nobody got time for you to be fucking yourself up. And then somebody else got to dedicate their fucking life to wiping your ass and shit. Because you chose to do the wrong, make the wrong choices or eat the wrong food or whatever the fuck. I don't agree with that kind of shit either. But them motherfuckers be like false spirits because they be wasting your fucking life. That's a waste of your life. Why would you dedicate your life to somebody else that's sick that didn't fucking take the time to fix yourself on whatever level? I don't give a fuck if it was ni- back in 1900. My grandma was born 1917 and she stopped eating sugar and salt back then because she said it made her feel like shit. So you don't need no fucking diabetes test or no high blood pressure test to tell you your ass is eating the wrong shit and it's killing you. And you still do it. You want motherfuckers to be having all these damn charities and shit for people to fuck their life up instead of looking at reality like it is and those are the false spirits and so the people who are really in the spiritual realm and really here they get labeled as anything from an angel to a demon because some people are really like fuck you dummies like fuck you you could be having heaven on earth instead you'd rather just fucking take the time to terrorize each other because that's all people are getting paid to do right now is terrorize one another because anytime somebody is in the top of these companies decides to pull a string and say, well, we're not making any more milk, there's a bunch of people that are going to fucking starve their damn kids because they ain't going to know nothing else to fucking feed their children. And, and these people are supplying and they're creating the demand and they are the only ones supplying it. So you're being controlled by something that's not human because that's not a human desire. I don't give a fuck. Most humans want what they want for themselves, for themselves to be comfortable. They want to be around their family and loved ones, and they want to be happy. They don't want to fucking dominate the world or make everybody else feel like shit because you have more than them. That shit is unnatural behavior. It's not a characteristic of a human or anything that's supposed to be human on this planet. It's something artificial. It cannot be human. So a lot of people have some kind of spirit in them that is not human. And this spirit in them that's not human is fucking brittle and harsh and don't give a fuck about humanity and real quick to say fuck you and real quick to do something cold hearted to you and have an excuse for it. So I guess Ramon wanted me to say that because as I listen to music, I realize I can repeat fucked up shit or I cannot repeat it. <laughs> and that's what he realized, too. As I actually can choose to say, I don't want to do this. And, and then he says, she's not doing what I want. She's malfunctioning. Because he's, like, learning to be my MK Ultra handler. Because my stepdad is trying to figure out if he wants this nigga to do it. So my real dad's like, oh, they love each other. They're going to come around. My real dad, Nab, is like, they're going to come around. And they love each other because they got, they got me and my wife and them. And <laughs> then I got Papa Joe that's like, nah, these people are doing the wrong thing. It's common sense. They're getting paid to fuck with people around here. 
because they know certain people are being watched, whether they're celebrities or not, they're being watched. And other motherfuckers, regular ass people walking around you are gaslighting you, acting like they're not participating in some fucked up shit because they think they're part of some special club. And they don't realize they're using the fucking humanity in you, the part of you that can read your fellow man's mind. So just in case a war or some natural disaster or some danger comes, You'll ask to know how to get the hell out the way. You know, you got to have like an anti, anti, antiviral. And that's what we're dealing with right now. People that are the antiviral, they sting. And nobody wants to listen to them because that shit hurt a little bit. Because it got to kill the little part, the little germ fucker. It got to kill that. And that germ fucker is the goddamn Matrix, Mr. Smith. Is these weird old motherfuckers that don't want to look at reality that we are being overtaken. I'm tired of talking about the motherfucking president. Because there ain't no damn United States. So the motherfucking government is Baker White and the fuck is we talking about who the fuck is president. Ain't nobody goddamn president. They taking over our goddamn land. And everybody sit back here talking about dumb shit. Because it makes them feel educated. So if you're... If you don't have a Harvard degree, now all of a sudden you are the fucking conscious Malcolm X. And then as you elevate, you know, you be like Dr. Amos or you be like um, J.A. Rogers or something. And then you elevate and then you're like Dr. Blair and you're Dr. Sabi. And everybody's elevating in this little fuckery. These people are giving you tools that was given to them as their portion of understanding from God and you glamorizing the shit. It's just enough information to keep your fucking ass alive because these goddamn demons are going to press and test your ass and motherfuckers is getting ready to take vaccinations. Why in the fuck would you get vaccinated right now? You got to be the dumbest fucking species on the planet. When them people over there in China ain't do no vaccines, and they kicking it like a motherfucker right now. They said that damn Wuhan didn't turn into a party city and shit. So we over here, ain't nobody fucking sick. Ain't nobody fucking sick. I be out here. Ain't nobody saying they got this, somebody didn't die. It be always somebody far away that you feel like lying any goddamn way. Or whatever the fuck they said they really died from was not what it was. But anyways, I got everybody we're getting ready to take a fucking vaccine. And they know damn well that people in China got cured without a vaccine. So they're willing to let these motherfuckers poison them. And because they're willing to do that, they're going to start arguing shit. Really why I'm irritated because it was a bitch in the motherfucking um, 7-Eleven. And she was like, oh, she got to put her mask on. And I can hear, you know, I got my music on and shit. And so, I, you know, I can hear her like doing one of them fucking white Karen. It was a black lady. I was like, bitch, for real? I was like, I got a mask. I just didn't have it on. And then it took me a minute to have it on because I got this tight ass hood on. So you got to put that shit behind your ears. I already got glasses on. So it took me a little minute to get that shit, all that bullshit behind my fucking ears and shit. My motherfucking spacesuit I got to have on just to fucking survive on this planet right now. And But the bitch was like going, you crazy. Like every, I was like only in there for like 15 seconds. And I was like, you need to basically shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't know what I said. I said something nice, but in my mind, I was telling her, bitch, shut the fuck up. And I know right now, especially in the city of Los Angeles, motherfuckers can't read each other's thoughts. Fuck what you heard. And that's the fucking trick that I'm talking about, that niggas is about to get annihilated because they don't want to fucking reveal if they a motherfucking germ or if they just a faking ass nigga trying to fucking avoid the goddamn civil war. Cause that's what it's coming down to. Cause that's what I'm figuring out. It's just coming to me right now as I'm speaking. You niggas is so motherfucking fake. When it's a real revolutionary move to be made, you find every everything else to do but the fucking move. I broke the windows out that motherfucking 77 precinct. The bulletproof doors in front of the fucking precinct. They had that shit boarded off. These same po- uh, police over in um, Chris Hall District. They know my motherfucking ass. Cause they know they can't control me. They know I broke them fucking windows and they know it took a lot of them motherfuckers to put me in handcuffs. And they probably talking to the other police they saying, oh, this bitch is, she is strong. And if we put her in jail, she gonna be in there hollering and shit. 
and she gonna holler for days and she gonna be in there hollering the law talking about oh god talking about jesus and talking about the demons and these fucking people and the bullshit they honor letting them know fuck you somebody gonna eat your ass because you food because you cattle if you don't have a fucking mind that's in the spiritual realm at the same time as you are in your fucking body here on the physical plane your fucking ass is food and that's what the aliens told me. And I keep on telling you motherfuckers, you don't think I'm talking to aliens. Well, you better realize these bitches is out here and they talking to motherfuckers. And I think they the ones making all them goddamn scary movies to scare the shit out you. Because they eat people. Shit, all the ancient people eat people. That's what they talking about, the queen of the dam. That lady was oh, She needed food. She don't know no fucking cow. What the hell is a cow? I need something with some real good blood in it. So her ass was eating motherfuckers. And then she got out. When she woke up, her boyfriend put that music out and whatever. And woke her up, her husband got mad. No, they killed her husband, but I don't believe that's possible. That's a part of the fucking fantasy of the bastard who made the movie. How you gonna be able to kill him and not kill her? You mean tell me she that mad at that motherfucker? She gonna, you wasn't gonna go back and save her nigga? You a goddamn lie. The fuck so special about this new species on the planet and been singing you songs that you willing to let them kill your damn husband and you can read each other's mind telepathically and you can read other people's mind. Cause that's what it feel like. And it ain't like you reading it, like you hearing it, but you know they on some other shit. You can tell what they thinking. And that's the same thing a cat or a dog do. That's the same thing any kind of pet do. That's the same thing babies do. And none of them motherfuckers could talk, but they can let you know that motherfucker foul somehow. And I can feel it. And I ain't got to fucking speak the language because it's being spoken telepathy. And it depends on what race you are and whether you can translate the messages you get. That's why motherfuckers be mad at each other. Because they're not mixed. And my ass got 21 nationalities in me. So I'm listening to all these people run their mouth and I'm hearing them talk cash shit. And I'm like, they, but they right though. Niggas don't want to fight. And then want everybody to kiss their fucking ass. And then as soon as they get some money, they want to spend it on some bullshit. And then they want to talk shit about a bitch on welfare. Talk shit about somebody going to the food bank. And don't take this shit personal. I'm just keeping it real because this is an ongoing pattern within a black community of motherfuckers that got them a little bit of money. And they want to come and talk shit to somebody else in their race while their asses is still the poorest motherfuckers in the United States. So what the fuck is you proud of? Everybody in your race is poor. That means every time you get a check, you're going to give it to somebody else in somebody else's race. So, of course, they're going to make your fucking ass feel special. you the one making everybody else feel like giving them all their goddamn money because that's what the fuck going on for the Mexicans to keep to themselves. They don't be all up in these regular-ass white stores buying shit. They buy their fucking Spanish fucking clothes but where the fuck they got them motherfuckers for them? But I know they selling that shit for real cheap and I go around there and get that shit. And they got motherfuckers selling shit on the sidewalk. I don't know where they get that shit. They probably got that shit off somebody's shelf and they need to. Because it's their fucking homeland. Why the fuck should you pay for anything in your homeland? And if the only way you can get it is to take the shit and resell it, then fuck it. And that's the reality that people don't want to deal with right now. Because they want to be judge and juror. And the judge and juror is, how much money do you have to feel like you can get away with your sin? And meanwhile, they fucking, fucking kids and shit, literally. Literally. And they worried about somebody on welfare and whether you've accomplished something and achieved something in life. And it's like, you punk motherfucker. And then if you say that, they be like, you so evil. No, you need to die. Who, who the, fuck that. You need to die, you in a goddamn way, motherfucker. Harry Tubman would have shot your ass. If she wouldn't have shot you, Nat Turner would have shot you, motherfuckers. And we in spiritual warfare right now. You know it. It's all kind of weird ass shit going on. You motherfuckers still judging whether why somebody broke or not. And we've been in a pandemic for fucking six months. Motherfuckers, us, all, everybody gonna be broke. The motherfuckers who had the shops and the motherfuckers are spending their dumb ass money at the shop, they all gonna be broke. Then what? They still gonna feel special because your ass had to go to the fucking food bank? That's going to make you feel like a better person in life? That's going to make you feel like you made your way into heaven? You a goddamn lie. Goddamn lie. So I just thought I would say that because I guess people, they watch my videos and they feel like, oh, well, I'm having spiritual messages too. And I know this and I know that. You don't know my motherfucking story. You don't know my motherfucking family. 
you don't know what ancestors came into my body before this shit start happening to protect me from bullshit motherfuckers because they can read a motherfucking mind too and they're gonna tell you oh that motherfucker thinking this 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 no matter whatever because you can't tell niggas nothing nowadays because they get all fucking wild and out of control and then they fucking try to charge somebody and then then the body fucked up then the ancestors can't use your body because you fucked your fuck your body up you fighting this shit the fuck you fighting for these motherfucking ancestors want to look around they want to see some shit they don't want to be out here fighting this shit and arguing and going through slavery with motherfuckers they created they arguing about whether these motherfuckers need to be feeding them or not when there ain't no damn natural resources of the land yeah i'm right here in long beach right now like i always am i've been doing these videos for two years and I'm sitting back watching this shit. And I said, you motherfuckers gonna get what you got coming. And I don't give a damn about shit. And you want me to feel sorry for your fucking ass. And you want to say I'm mean. And I realize you don't give a fuck about me. Because I've been out here and you ain't done shit to help me. And you use the excuse of you feel like you're accomplishing more in life. Because of whatever you're doing at that moment in time. That's the spiritual warfare. Cause you know how to spot a motherfucker full of shit. Cause just because they can do shit and just because they got some kind of wish or warlock in their body don't mean they feel with God. Because they're gonna do the will of the person who is in their body. That's why it's so serious when it's dealing with angels and whether they corrupt it or not. Because the angel can get in your body and you start doing their will. Because you trust that person enough to control you. That's why I say call Jesus. Because Jesus is the only one who's pretty much normal. Meaning it don't even matter what what decade or what era he incarnated. He's going to use the common sense, human knowledge of what a motherfucker want to be treated like. And once you start figuring out like what's going on within a system and exactly how you're, gonna, how you're getting cheated. Or how you're going to be cheated if you foresee the future. Of course you're going to do what you need to do to get your fucking ass out of slavery. You're going to talk ass shit in on your fucking way out if you a nigga, because that's what we do. And that seemed to be the main thing they stop you from doing. It's talking your shit or getting your fucking just due from somebody that it fucked over you. And they living in your shit and you got to hold your lips. That's bullshit. And that's the way. And then you have these new token niggas. I didn't mean to say it like that. But I'm really serious. They got all this damn money. And they sitting back like they represent their race. And then they not even marry into their own race on top of that. You got all this motherfucking money. And you not even marrying it back into your own fucking race. You're not going to give your mama and daddy the honor of going back with somebody within their tribe so it can stay in the tribe. Because that's how it stay in the tribe. It really ain't about race. It's about tribe. And tribe's own land. And whoever owned the land owned anything going on on this land. So right now, we got the motherfucking post office. That bitch has post office right there. They're doing, they doing business on my land for the private entities. I mean, they owe me money for that. And where's my motherfucking rent? So if you're not paying me no rent, that means I should go up in that goddamn post office and get any service I want for free. Let me ask to run my ass around there to that 7-Eleven and get whatever I want up in there for free. Because they paying somebody else rent. You understand? They paying somebody else $700, $7,000 a month. They not paying the real landowners. So why the fuck I got to respect them? Then why I got to respect the people that work for them when they all working to take shit from me? Them motherfuckers, anybody agree with that kind of thinking is fucking alien spirits they don't have a soul they have a spirit but they don't have a soul meaning something can jump in their ass and manipulate their spirit because you can train a dog you can train a cat you can train humans too you can train humans and that's how you're supposed to be reborn in christ you're supposed to be getting trained on how to be the best human you can be and motherfuckers don't want to do that because they want to argue and say how well they made it being the fucking ignorant motherfucker that they've been now, they want to show you how well they made it until you start saying, oh, man, you're supposed to live to 400 years and your body's supposed to be perfect. So did you really make it? Did you? No, I don't think you did. 
That's the trick they putting on everybody. Everybody want to run their motherfucking bodies into the ground trying to please a system that needs to be overthrown. And that means they're going to have to be some warriors that's willing to take a, a, a loss and lose their life behind this. And the only way they're going to do that is if they know when they reincarnate, they're coming back into the land and back into the family of the land that they was fighting and dying for. They want to come back into that bloodline. That's the only thing. That's what warriors fight for. That's why I say all war is about women because the women create the race. If you don't have no woman of your race, you really can't incarnate your ancestors like you need to. So your great, 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 great grandparent ain't ever coming back because you didn't jump at your race and your, that person did whatever their family wanted them to do because everybody's intermingled. But if you're all of the same tribe and you have six families that all married in cousins and stuff like that, married each other's cousins or whatever, you know, those families can stick together and they call that a clan. And most of the time, those clans is gonna be of the same race you are because they're your clan. So it's not really about the race thing, it's about honoring your ancestors of what benefits that you're enjoying right now. So you, how far can you go back? Well, you can go back to the Native Americans being on this land, and you know the black people is the Native Americans. And you know the Native, American, the Native Americans is the landlord. And you know your landlord gets more money than anybody else that you pay. They get more money than your car man. They get more money than your food man. That damn landlord get all your motherfucking money, whether your ass gonna not eat or not. So if my motherfucking ass is Native American, that mean, bitch, you better have my money. And right now we going through a, oh, but you really not who you say you are because we didn't made pictures of the people and put on fake entities and corporations of people that say they're you. So now you have to prove to yourself who you are, who you are. And meanwhile, we're gonna enjoy your land while we're tricking your ass and wasting time. Cause that's what they're doing, they're tricking and wasting time. I why Trump pretty much, they got the warning that he better make sure he put that law out there, fuck what people want. Cause people emotional about shit they don't know nothing about and that is part of the matrix, that shit is fake. How you gonna be mad about Trump and you don't even know what he do for your ass? You don't even know what your fucking mayor do. So I know goddamn well you don't know what the president do. So what the fuck you mad at his ass for? Now you didn't commit the sin, motherfucker. Now the next part of the annihilation plan can be worked on you because you're living in sin and Jesus can't help you because you're full of shit. It's just that simple. Motherfuckers is getting tricked because they full of fucking shit. And when somebody call them on it, they want to go off and they don't know. You, somebody trying to save your life. But then after a while, you get to realize that these people don't have no soul. So what you trying to save their life for? They ain't going to save your life. They just going to sit and be in the way. Like somebody who complain about a problem. And then when it's time to clean up the problem, they're the last person to get up and sweep. They're the last person to get up and wipe anything down. They're the first person to leave mess in the way. Matter of fact, they just fucked everything up and they didn't even come back and clean up. But because they know that you are the cleanup person, they will expect you to clean it up. And even if it takes 20 years, even if it takes 400 years, they're going to sit back and wait for you to clean up their fucking mess and then be in your shit, running your shit until you fucking snap and either kill their ass or be friends with them and let them share your shit because you like them that much. And that's where we are at. And it's spiritual. It's physical and spiritual at the same time. And that's what people don't want to really look at. These motherfuckers is warming up your heart to be a piece of shit. And you motherfuckers is going along with it. And meanwhile, the ancestors are waking up trying to wake you up. And because these people that made all these goddamn movies about shit that they don't know nothing about, you think these fuckers know the history. And they're going to make you turn on your own fucking people just like the Jews did Jesus. Because you motherfuckers is living in sin, meaning you being mad about shit you don't have no business being mad about because the motherfuckers didn't do nothing to your ass. Nine times out of ten, if somebody did something to your ass, it's your fucking husband, your daddy, your mama, your wife, your grandma, your auntie, your uncle, and maybe your fucking co-worker or employer. Or maybe your landlord. It's going to be all the motherfuckers close as fuck to you because they all got keys to your house or liable to. But we know the landlord damn sure do. You feel me? The shit is, this whole shit is being operated wrong and don't nobody want to step up and really 
uh, looking to a change because that means that they ask going to be at a position of where they are in this wrong situation. And so that's what you call start of a genocide. You got to get the people out the way because they both don't count because they're not going to the afterlife anyway because they don't have a soul. You have to have a soul of an ancestor that can fucking make it through the next level. If your mind is stuck in the dumbness of these people, what they told you when everything else is written in the law book, and you still going off of what they told you, and you know it's written opposite in the law book, then you get everything you got coming that they give to you. You can't even be mad about it. And basically, that's what you're telling everybody. Let's go down like the Titanic or some shit. That's what everybody's doing right now. They're going down with the ship. Just like that man, uh, that girl could have moved over and let that boy get up on that um, piece of wood with her in the movie Titanic. That's what's going on right now. To make the movie good, you motherfuckers will let somebody else drown when you know damn well you can scoot your ass over and share a fucking spot so we can all make it to the next level, like spiritual level, as a people, as a generation, because each generation is a different spiritual level and you reincarnate and some people have fallen in love with the bodies they have and they don't realize you're going to have a different body when you come next time and it's going to depend on what bloodline and tribe your ass did jumped into and you jumped into some weird shit now you in a cave eating shit you somewhere fucking a dog you're doing some weird shit your people don't do because you don't want to end marry because they got you in mental slavery and they traumatize you. You got PTSD, so you just want to go with the easiest love that you can find, not knowing they're, pre they're preparing your ass to eat you. Like motherfuckers raise cows and pigs and fucking chickens and shit. That's how they, these motherfuckers are doing you. They know they can hurry up and jump into your bloodline, into your body, and do enough damage, take enough property, because that also ties into inheritance in the states, and then get the fuck out and then go to back into their original race after they drain your ass. Because all they got to do is start marrying back white and marry your black ass one time, and then they marry white all the way back until they back into their original shit. And meanwhile, your ass broke. All your fucking money going to her fucking family. Because that's usually what happens. Because you don't want to fucking be with a tribe. You don't want to do the tribal life. I'm talking about Native American tribal life. I'm not talking about no African tribal life. And everybody want to try to pull that shit. And it's, it ain't fitting well with the women that's from here because that ain't really our shit. We have our own culture that we created based on how we like to get down with our men. And as long as the men got the women happy, then the women going to take care of everything else. They're going to kill for you if they have to. Shit, they run the kill behind the dick. Why, what would they do as a whole unit? They'll kill behind you if everybody had the same principles, and it should be. Why the fuck is we all broke and we own all this shit? And if I'm broke, motherfucker, why the fuck is you laughing about it? How the fuck is you laughing because I ain't got no goddamn money? And you and my tribe. And you laughing for the benefit of another motherfucker because you willfully giving that motherfucker all your money. You giving him all your rent money because you're living in his neighborhood and you ain't trying to get the shit back and figure out who the real owner is. Go back and all the deeds and shit. Because I done done it. That's why I know. I talk, battle. I have done it. I went back in the deeds and found out who owns lands and shit. Then you find out these motherfuckers ain't even owning the land. They're leasing it from an oil company. Okay? So this is shit. This ain't no fucking fantasy. And it's just, the spiritual shit is real because motherfuckers is experiencing and they told me out their fucking mouth. And I just noticed that black people, when they tell your ass out your mouth, they like to talk to you like you're crazy because they like to play the role because they ride in the fence. They don't know which way to go. They play it. Like that movie 12 Years a Slave and all them black people was on that boat with that with that man and he was educated and all super intelligent and they, they were, but they weren't dumb either. As soon as the white folks run away, they start talking to him normal. But when he was, when the white people was around, they was all, yes, I'm, yes, I'm, yes, I'm, yes, I'm, yes, I'm. that's what's going on right now. And it's like, you got to kill them types. Because this ain't no fucking play. This ain't no goddamn movie. This is real life. And you fuck around and get somebody killed. You fuck around and have somebody starved out out here. You make somebody start robbing somebody just to have some shoes or some type of whatever. Or just for rent money. Shit, fuck it. Right now, motherfuckers at the grocery store stealing and they need to. Because these motherfuckers didn't make food. They don't fucking make animals. They not God. They don't make plants, and they not God. So how the fuck is they charge you for something that came from a plant and a fucking animal? Why are you paying for something that came from a plant and a fucking animal? As far as the labor, every fucking body know chores is done in societies. 
That mean if you a kid and you living at home, you ain't paying no motherfucking rent and you ain't paying for no goddamn food, you got to get up and you got to clean the goddamn kitchen for the food. You got to cook the shit. So why the fuck I got to pay to go to the goddamn restaurant and they cooking all my shit anyways? It's like a child being in your fucking house. Why the fuck I got to pay to go fucking feed, uh, get food from that bitch when I'm the one to get that bitch the fucking food to feed me? And they ain't paying no fucking rent and they mildly fucking retarded on top of all of that. This is what's going on here. We are being fucking hijacked. And these people is playing a game. And when somebody like me get to talking, motherfucker be like, she's so bitter. No, I'm mad. I'm a real definition of a mad black woman. Fuck fucking some nigga up. It's drowning his ass when he's when he in his weakest capacity. How about I run around here with a machine gun and start killing motherfuckers that feel like they want to run my shit? I'm not going to do that because I ain't got it in me. But the way things is going on right now, spirits is starting to jump at people. They might make motherfuckers do some shit they don't want to fucking do. And you won't even know when it's going down because that spirit is going to manipulate the situation in the, in the scene to have the outcome be what they want it to be. They can manipulate a whole fucking scene in a whole fucking city. They can make one person get up in one neighborhood and another person get up in another neighborhood and make it to where they meet in a whole different neighborhood. And then they make it to where certain motherfuckers is at work that day. They can shit, set shit up 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's what them motherfuckers be saying. I can see into the future. That's what they mean. They, they mean they know what you're going to be vulnerable. Okay? Not like, oh, they're about to tell you how to fucking win the lotto. Like, they're going to be the ones tricking your ass to play the fucking lotto. Knowing that shit is bullshit. That's what that shit mean when somebody say they can see into the future and we still in slavery. That mean they just seen into the future and figured out how to fuck your ass over. And they win. Because look it, their fucking outcome is shitty. So... I just wanted to say that when it comes to people being taken over by spirits and they be trying to act like they can't control these spirits when you can because you know the difference between right and wrong and you know what's going on in this society and you know whether it's right or wrong. Fuck what the news say. Fuck what the fucking internet say and the movies. What the fuck do you think in your real mind? Do you think it's okay for somebody to be homeless and there's an empty fucking building right there? I don't give a fuck if they say it's the office building or not. It's space. Somebody can roll their ass up a, 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 a damn, unroll a, a, a sleeping bag and lay down or something. People don't have to be outside. It's raining and shit. Motherfuckers are literally laying in the street because somebody else, what, didn't give a fuck or ain't enough money being made? I mean, the shit is, it, it's, there's no excuse. And the United States is under judgment for this, this, thought pattern alone is allowing them to go to the military and kill other people in other countries and they're not kidding the fuck because they got paid for it and people glamorize money when like I said if you had a farm and you was growing shit you wouldn't even have to pay for no food you just want enough to get your fucking stomach full you wouldn't want to be hoarding it so you could turn around and sell it to somebody or hoarding it so you can get it for the best price and not have to pay a jacked up price where you can't afford it later on because that's the only reason why people buy up a bunch of shit that should be the only reason everything else is purity craziness People are insane right now and they don't give a fuck. And it pisses me off. And when I talk about it, motherfuckers don't want to hear about it. And then when motherfuckers start dying and shit, everybody want to, somebody feel sorry for your ass. I don't feel sorry for you, motherfucker. Because I've been on herbs for over fucking 10 years now. That means my body been fortified with the herbs of the earth. And my motherfucker ass could withstand any damn sickness. They're going to have to kill me with a gun or something to get my ass off this planet. It ain't going to be easy as putting no punk ass damn coronavirus out. These people are retarded. And it's time to end the fuckery. And it's going to be have to come with the fact that these niggas know they got somebody in their ass telling them something they don't like. And they arguing with that person. That's all it is. They got a grandma or somebody in saying, nigga, your motherfucking ass need to wash your fucking feet better because you stink. Smell like Cheetos. Because they know they smelled it because you smell your own shit ass for anybody else. And then you have to have a, somebody to be the guidepost to what you should think. And nine times out of ten, it's your grandma. Because you know she loved you and you know she knew you when you were in your beginning stages and she don't have sympathy for you because she knew there was honestly a time that you did not know. But she knows now that you've been fully fucking informed. And she feels like you're dangerous because you might cause a whole fucking network 
a society to crumble because your ass just don't want to fucking do the basics of the culture. Fuck the law, the culture. And that's what we're dealing with, the loss of a culture. Because a lot of these bitches is trying to get over. They'd rather go buy a new purse instead of feed their child. Or they want to go buy their child the most expensive shit. And then when 10 years go by, some kind of depression hit, and you motherfuckers are sitting back broke, fucked up. With a fucked up mentality, probably kill yourself. Because you're going to expect a certain lifestyle you're not going to be able to maintain. And then everybody's supposed to feel sorry for your lifestyle of fame and fortune that you wasn't able to maintain because you refused to honor the obey the commands of Jesus. Because he's the one telling everybody what to do to the easiest to get through this shit. Everybody else want to be difficult and fake about it. That's why all these black people are riding for a pedophile, Joe Biden. That means mean they pedophiles or they don't mind pedophiles. I know a lot of black people that have been touched by their uncle or something like that, and nobody said nothing. And their grandma didn't say nothing, their mama didn't say nothing, nobody said nothing. They just told you to forget it or some weird shit like that. So Joe Biden being in office and him being a pedophile and possibly making the United States of America a whole pedophile fucking country and sending people over to other countries fucking with kids. Oh, I'm sorry, they do that now. It's already been like that for a long time. Now that it's being revealed that that's clearly what they're about, bitches still want this crazy motherfucking office. And that bitch fucking Kamala Harris, the bitch that put black people in jail like it ain't shit, lying on them and everything. You want this bitch to be up under you? I mean, over you? Up under fucking Biden? All because you don't like somebody, because you think you don't like Trump. And that motherfucker ain't done shit but fucking be a goddamn actor in the movie. Because he don't run a goddamn thing. Everything is being ran off of what you thought, what you think, and what you say. So they're gauging the actual temperature of the people. Yeah, they're gauging everything they do by the temperature of the people. Like if they feel like they didn't gone too far and they ride in and shit, and it's real riding, because in the beginning it was real. They knew that they really can't keep on doing that kind of shit. They're testing the temperature because they know one day it's just gonna break and people are gonna say, fuck that. And right now that's why that um, COVID shit's going crazy because everybody has to be taken to that point. Because if not, you're going to stay comfortable and you ain't going to fucking want to change. You ain't going to want to really think about how you can survive living the, the alternative reality. Because you have to start living like that first for, to in order to see if you can do it. You got to do it. Whether you have to or forced to or not. And that's the part people don't want to do. And what the, what the forced part is, is you have to be forced to see whether a motherfucker real or motherfucker fake. Because if you don't understand words coming out of my mouth right now, most of the time... Nine times out of ten, you the fake ass motherfucker. Cause I'm saying some real ass fucking shit. That's common fucking sense. And I'll be damned if I sit back here broke in my goddamn own land, waiting for some motherfuckers in my tribe to wake up while they going all outside of the tribe to get everything they need and give up everything they got to them motherfuckers. And I'm supposed to kiss their ass? No, they in the motherfucking way. Cause guess what? After the fucking outsiders take the land back, I mean, get it. After the land comes back from the outsiders, it goes within the tribe. And within that tribe, you got different people who are trying to take territory. So if they kill your ass, motherfucker, that's just territory I ain't got to fight you for when I take my shit back. Are you getting it? We're at war. It's a mental war, and it's not that fucking hard to figure out because it's common goddamn sense. But so many bitches get away with doing so much fucked up shit because they're lazy, filthy bitches. They just don't want to do the work. They don't want to clean. America is like a woman with a stinky coochie right now. She know it's stinking, but she just don't want to get up and clean that motherfucker. And she looking around, she know everybody else know that you ain't got to smell like that. And instead of saying, okay, let me go clean and let me go try to do whatever I need to do to get rid of that smell, she's saying, fuck that. I don't have to do it right now. I can do it when I want to. If it offends you, oh well. There's some sick shit going on right now. At least that's what God see it like. Because God see it in groups. Everybody right now think they're individual. No, God sees you as a group of people. They always talk about the peoples in the Bible. They be groups of people. It'll be one person. If it is one person, it's just an example person, like an actor or some shit like that. 
somebody to be an example for something that happens to multiple people. But pretty much all of the people go together of whatever race, whatever tribe, whatever. They got these loud ass goddamn buses, this noise trauma in the city. That shit noise trauma. All that goddamn noise coming off that bus is not normal. I'm from Seattle. And buses don't be having all that goddamn noise coming off of it. You can't even hear your fucking self thinking they done made enough money in LA, in Long Beach, and all these little fucking tourist cities that they could have fucking got uh, invested in a better transportation system. All of them. They got about 25,000 in this fucking city and within the, these, these little red, you know, cities around LA. They got a 50 million fucking transportation system. Everybody making money, rolling down the same fucking street is weird as fuck. Because like I said, there's artificial intelligence running this damn area of the United States of America. These people ain't real. The shit they be focused on be crazy as fuck. And now they got people tripping off of this shit. And like I said, it's, I've been pissed because the bitch told me to put my mask on and she tried to go crazy, act like, you know, well, put it on and tell the lady, it's, you know, COVID going on around here, talking all loud and shit. I'm like, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up. You know, goddamn well, I ain't got no motherfucking COVID-19. And you know, damn well, you ain't got it. And you know, you ain't fucking met nobody that got sick behind that shit or even died. So shut the fuck up with that bullshit. And if you did, it's because that motherfucker was going to die anyway. Because they probably just had a flu. Because if your ass wasn't really in no hospital or feeling like you needed to be, you probably didn't have it. I'm speaking from experience. And people don't believe that because they want to fucking play the movie game. Anything they put into a movie and make it seem like it's fake, if you say something about it now, you'll say, all of a sudden your ass is crazy. But it's only because they know that's how it works. And they figure if they put it in a movie and make it look like you're just being dramatic or you're acting or whatever, then you won't, nobody will fucking believe you. And then you got people committing suicide because they're literally telling you I'm being fucked with. They're telling you something's going on with them spiritually. These kids are telling you some weird shit going on. They can't really explain it because the shit is hard to explain because niggas grown-ups is full of shit right now you can't even <laughs> have a decent conversation without somebody coming with some bullshit just in general like it's like it's almost like um a layaway plan to make you think that they have a better character than they really do so they come out with some fake motherfucking reasons like, oh, I'm going to protect everybody from the COVID-19 from this black bitch that walked in the store without her mask on. And I'm another black bitch, so I'm going to make sure I fucking check her in front of all of you East Indians. And I fucking read that bitch to the T. And then motherfucking East Indians was sitting there not saying nothing because they didn't say nothing to me because they could see I was getting it out of my purse. Bitch, I'm 43 years old. I'm probably old enough to be, well, no. She probably old enough to be, I'm old enough to be her daughter. Her bitch look old. So what the fuck is you talking to your daughter like that for? You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is you? And that's why black people fucked up right now because they don't talk to each other right and they so used to all this fucked up t dealing with each other. And when somebody come around that really ain't for that shit, you be surprised because you're like, well, that's how my mama used to do it. Or that's how my, my boyfriend, you know, let me do it to him. It's like, bitch, I'm, I'm not, that, that's not me. You a fucking demon, meaning your ass don't, you don't have no soul in the spiritual realm. Because if you had a soul in the spiritual realm, you would be embarrassed. Because you know that your fucking soulmates would be able to see what the fuck you're doing. And they'd be like, you're a piece of shit. So you're not going to do any old thing. You're going to have fucking brotherhoods keeping you to a character. Like this shit is deep, but it really ain't deep. A lot of motherfuckers don't have souls. I don't care what race they appear to be. These motherfuckers is walking around here fucking aliens and some kind of artificial reality is in their body. That's like some law somebody wrote on a piece of paper and somebody adjusted that shit like it was reality. And then they become that law. Next thing you know, they're walking around police officers wearing blue shooting motherfuckers for no reason knowing that's against God. And they don't give a fuck their job says so. But you think you're going to fucking heaven, motherfucker? Bitch, you going to hell, nigga. You going to hell the fuck? I don't give a fuck if you saved a million cats, bitch. Or you motherfucking delivered a million emergency babies, motherfucker. How many people did you put in jail illegally? How many families did you break up? How many people did you feed into the system for a charge to be made in their ass and for them to get three strikes or some shit? Fuck you. And fuck that job. And fuck you twice. Because you know your ass is wrong. Especially if your ass is black. And if you're any other race, you'd even wronger because you a fucking criminal over here on my land terrorizing me and you know it.
Cause you know you don't have a right to be running shit or telling me nothing. I think I done done enough fussing for today. As I like to keep the good fussing for the end, cause I know you ignorant motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to listen this far into it. And that's why I cuss you weak bitches out. I'ma cuss you weak bitches until you motherfuckers jump off the goddamn fucking video so the real message could get to the real motherfuckers that really got goddamn sense to say, fuck how this bitch is talking. I wanna hear what the fuck she's saying cause I'm trying to figure this shit out. Cause I'm crazy right now. I feel like I'm in a goddamn musical because all these songs is talking about my life. I feel like somebody watching me. I feel like I'm going crazy. I hear voices in my head. I, was, I feel like somebody reading my thoughts. I feel like these people is conspiring. All this shit these fucking people have been trying to tell you is going on. You want to fuck, fuck around and say, well, no, what's the problem is I need to get a better job. I need to get a higher paying job. I need to get a raise in my job. I need to go buy some Nikes. I need to be able to go on a vacation somewhere where they're ripping off somebody else in their land and selling it to me just for the evening. So I'm participating in theft. But yay, I went to Hawaii. What in the fuck is wrong with people? And you think you ain't going to hell for that? Cause you go to church every Sunday, you pray to Jesus, so you say, Jesus ain't revealed to you that that's a little shitty bit of, that's a shitty attitude and way to live. America is under judgment and they all going to hell. There's a very few that's going to make it because they're going to be tested. Because they could terrorize your ass to a point where you start doing things that you morally wouldn't do. But you don't want to experience a certain level of discomfort. That's why a lot of people are out here homeless because they didn't bounce back at the system. And other people sat back and said, well, if they're homeless and I'm doing better than them, then I'm better than them. As long as there's a homeless class, the low class feel like they're doing something. They ain't doing a motherfucking thing, but getting up, going to fucking work, giving their goddamn hours of their life in fucking slavery to somebody else for some fucking dollars that's coming from their goddamn country. Somebody playing with your monopoly money and whooping your ass and taking your mind and your body at the same time because you're wearing your body down and your mind is going to be crazy as fuck. And if you die, ain't nobody going to want you to reincarnate into their fucking bloodline because you're going to be insane. That's what it is. When you go, when you leave this planet, thinking that this fake ass shit that they didn't taught us is right, and when everybody else starts to wake up from the blatant lie that's been told to us, so it's not even like a possibility that shit's right. Your ass gonna be stuck on the fact that oh, we need civil rights. Fuck a civil rights. You on my goddamn land. You don't have a right to give me a right. Fuck, I oughta cut your goddamn head off until you did, and I can take my rights back, and I had to look at your intruder ass because you're not from here. You on somebody else's shit. I don't have to explain nothing to your fucking ass. Like that stand your ground long. That's what the fuck we need to be on right now. And really, truth be told, that's what them Trump supporters is about. Just because the Trump supporter don't mean they really know what the fuck Trump about. They just somebody that think that that means the white is right. But that just means that that motherfucking ass are prepared for when everybody wake up, it's going to be some fight. And somebody going to have to say this shit is mine. And right now, everybody want to be from somewhere else. And the black people think they're from Africa. So they said, oh, we're from Africa, so we don't got nothing coming to us. No, fuck you. You from Africa, motherfucker. I'm from here. My mama told me I was Native American. My grandma told me her mama was Native American. So I don't give a fuck. I would, this is what we look like. We dark. You ain't take my goddamn land from me in my face, and you ain't even got nowhere for me to go because there ain't nobody in Africa saying bring your ass back around here. So it's a whole lot of fuckery because that is a sin, too. And now why God let motherfuckers get killed up all on TV, black people? Because what you're doing is a sin and you refuse to fucking repent and change your evil ways as a people. You could do a million mile march with a million motherfuckers can't turn around and start teaching a million more motherfuckers the truth so we could get out of this mental slavery. They just shut the whole fucking country down for this COVID-19 and everybody got an opportunity to have some real conversations with each other and they better start having some real conversations because I guarantee you in their lifetime the fucking world ain't been shut down like this. So they need to think about how much of this shit is really a fucking movie. How much of this shit is really a movie or it's just fucking reality? And your ass think it's a fucking movie until motherfuckers start ending up dead. And then it goes back to, are you really worth the fight? Or do we just need to leave you motherfuckers here and let you be food? Because you shouldn't have to do all that explaining to somebody why they need to be treated like they're a human. And everybody else around them needs to be treated like a human as well. I shouldn't have to have that conversation with nobody. I automatically should be able to kill you. <laughs> Seriously.
You're an enemy. You're crazy. You're insane. How do you not care about people? You're crazy as fuck. How are you like hoarding all the food, letting it go bad, and throwing it in the garbage? How are you the motherfucker working at the store, throwing the shit in the garbage when you know you got cousins and shit that's hungry? All of you motherfuckers is insane. I'll kill you all. Because you're fucking up the natural resources of the land and you're wasting it just because somebody told you to. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot more people breaking into grocery stores because we don't have any other choices. And there's a lot of people that feel like me. They may not have the time or the uh, balls or the audacity or the amount of cussing capacity to articulate it the way it really feel when you're going through the shit because any other fucking way wouldn't be authentic. And you motherfuckers don't like authentic. You want some newscaster shit. Well, the real news is the revolution will not be televised only in your mind. It'll be in the form of your mama telling you, you's a dumb motherfucker if you keep on sitting back letting this motherfucker dog your ass out and thinking the rest of the world is supposed to kiss your retarded ass while you run around shooting up everybody around the fucking planet. If you think your asses is gonna be safe, you're wrong and you didn't already show the motherfuckers you like to be bleached out because you're dating out your race. So what the fuck is the real purpose of saving you motherfuckers? The only ones they need to save is the mamas, the real women in the race. And we could go somewhere else and create a, no, a new tribe. We'll just be new. That means we won't have that many generations started because we have tri- started something new. But we don't need you motherfuckers. So whether it be within the next five months, five years or 50 years we gonna get our shit back because we reincarnate real niggas don't die we multiply and they been and said that so i think i done said enough about that i'll get back to you bitches later